Hello, this is a GPO demo how to K. First off, let's take a look at what's in the zip file here. We have the assembler for the GPL assembler, we have the GPL loader, and we have source files for RxB 2001. And then we have an extended basic program here written for RxB that uses user. And what this is going to do is take program image files for extended basic and turn them into internal variable 254 files. Now you can do this in regular TI Extended Basic, but the problem is going to be you have to load them individually by yourself. This program with RxB will do the user for you. So if you have like 128 files on a disk, you can automatically run it and automatically take care of the problem. They're converted one at a time automatically. It's a lot easier to do it this way. I mean, individually it would take hundreds. Uh, I could show you my library, and I will do that right now. So this is my library right now on classic. Let's take a look at all disks, extended basic. Pick a disk and you'll see that they're all, oops, I can't do it this way. <laughs> Sorry, got ahead of myself. Uh, TI-994A, classic, and let's do all disks and extended basic. And you take a look at a disk down here and just pick one you'll see they're all internal variable 254. That's how easy it is to do. So now we've done that, let's take a look at the package here. We're going to need disk one of classic 91 up. I think better yet, we better start with the mod folder. So we have a mod folder here. We go to modules in mine. Uh, yours will probably just say mods. Mine says modules. So I put an extra file in here. Now this is the zip file that comes with the package that I have with this video that we're sending out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these files right here. These three. This is RxB for Classic 99. So we're going to copy those. We're going to drop them into this folder. I already have them there, so you don't normally have to do that. Okay, once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to disk 1. And we're going to put in these files right here, the assembler, the GPL loader, and transform. But we're finally going to need this one right here, the source file. So we're going to copy these and put them into disk one. Okay, now we don't need the zip file anymore. Now we're going to fire up classic, or no, better yet, we're going to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take this file right here and we're going to convert it so we can use it. So we're going to open it with Notepad. And we're going to do a search, find, and we're going to look for GSAVE in capital letters. G, GSAVE in capital letters. We found it. Now in TI Basic and Extended Basic, or TI Extended Basic and RxB and the other basics, they all have this file looks just like this and right here we have the save utility so if you go up here you will see it. this is the save utility in extended basic RxB has the same one the only difference is what we're going to do is it looks here for a greater than bit if it is greater than bit what it's going to do is it's going to save it as internal variable 254 but the problem is that uh, it doesn't do that unless it outruns these outstrips, excuse me, outstrips the size of memory in VDP. We're going to force it to do a branch. So what you can do is just put a star right here to keep it, and then put another star down here to keep it the way it is. We're going to keep these the way they are, except that the star says ignore these. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a line in here. And right here, we're going to add a line we're going to go B for big branch, it's a branch, and we're going to branch to G save. Now what's going to happen is that's going to take the place of these three bytes right here with this one. And it's going to always branch to this G save. So then we're going to save it. Alright, now we're ready for TI directory. Now you can get TI directory off of uh, the same place you get Classic 99 I think. Or it's out there. So you're going to need TI directory. 
Uh, there's VDM99, but I don't use that. In my TI, we're going to go to disk one, and we're going to take this file and we're going to convert it into a PC to TI file. There it is, same name, done. Now we don't need this file anymore, so we can just delete it, the text file. We need this one though. So now that we've got that done, let's start up Classic 99. Okay, we're going to go to Cartridge, User, Open. We're going to the Mods folder, and we're going to find that file that we put in there, RxB. And RxB 2001C is what we want right there. The other two are right here. So C is what we want. We hit Open. Now we have RxB 2001 loaded. So we hit 2. Excuse me. We hit uh, 3 for Editor Assembler, and we're going to use this file right here. So we hit 7 and 1. Go down to that file with the cursor. Select it by hitting Enter. Hit 2 for Assembler. Hit 1 because the Assembler is right there. Now we type in disk one, excuse me, one dot o r x b four, disk one l l r x b four. Now this is the object file we're going to be using and the list file that we can look at later. And then disk, excuse me, l r see l <laughs> l c s f p f. Excuse me, I was using December earlier today. Uh, list of file, compressed, it has to be compressed format. Uh, source file, which means that it shows uh, symbols, not source. And then there's 16 of them with just the F, and then there's passes, and there's 16 passes. Hit enter. And because this is classic, we can do this. We can go into speed it up, maximum speed. There it goes. Now, what we can do is we can uh, do something else. We can go look at the transform program while it's doing that. Uh, classic disk one and there's our transform we're going to view this file so the transform program is basically my RxB loader program that I had that I showed you guys in a demo it's been modified slightly to do the same thing but it's doing a different thing it's going to create a user file and call it at the end and this DV80 temp file is going to be used for um, saving and loading files and it's going to save and load them to a from program image to internal variable 254 so that's what we got going on here okay now I've got that done the next thing we need to do is we need to look at is the assembler done yet no it's done we'll have to wait for it uh, I was a little amazed to find out that uh, nobody knew about the nobody knew about the uh, RxB 2001 will run all these files that I'm showing you guys in these demos they assumed that 2012 was the only way it would do it. Uh, most of the demos I've been doing will run in 2001. That's right there on the market right now. You guys can use it for free. Uh, 2012 has more features, but 2001 will do it. Uh, we're almost done with this right here. Uh, when we get the file loaded, what we'll do is we'll, we'll load the program with the GPL loader, and then the GPL loader will allow us to uh, run the transform program that we want to run. It's almost done. It's creating the file now. I'll have to edit out this section right here because it's too slow. Wife is talking to me about my show being on. I like Big Bang. Well, I might edit this out later. Depends on how long it took. All right, now we go back. What we're going to do is we're going to do the GPL loader. So we go 5 disk 1 GPL at loader. Okay, the file we're going to load is going to be object file, but we're going to need to turn on the gram in, in the classic. So we go into the gram, we turn on 8 and click OK. Then we type in disk 1 O 
RXB4. Oh, we need to turn off the throttle. Hit enter. Care chimes. We're done. Okay, now we can go to extended basic and our modified program. We run the program. Now, uh, we're going to run it off of this disk. We're going to run it off a different disk. So I'm going to go back and uh, we're going to disk 4 because I've got a, pr a previous program set up for doing this. Just to demo what's going on here. So we're going to say disk, whoops. Sorry. We're going to say disk 4. This is where we're going to save the results. This is going to transform program image file. It wants to create a DV80 file on this disk that's going to be used to create what we're doing. Okay, now directory to transform. This is the directory. You can choose directory after directory to transform. It'll do like uh, all nine disks. Uh, what you can do is run the program, copy the files off that disk to a different, uh, get to a different, excuse me, copy more files under the disk and keep doing it. Now, the catalog is a problem. It won't catalog more than 128 files. So you can't, you can do all nine disks on, on classic if you want to, but that's going to be the max. It doesn't have a hard drive. If it was a hard drive, you could just go to town on it like crazy. Of course, it created a DVDA file, it would be huge. I did that on my SCSI drive. So, anyways, we're going to say disk 4. Okay, this is an extended basic program. Now, I've got it set up so that if the file is larger than three sectors, it'll take it, but it won't take files that are one sector. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say all, and it'll just take care of it for us. We don't have to actually go through and individually, we can individually answer if you want to. It's easier just to hit all and it'll go back through and it'll tell you whether it can convert the file or not. If it won't work on a file, load the file and add a rem to it with a comment on what the file does. What it's doing now is it created a DV80 file right here. If we want to take a look at that DV80 file, The DV80 file looks like this, and it makes it makes huge number of files, and all it does is just do old save, new old save, new old save. Then it rotates through the list here that it runs and loads them and saves them. When it gets done, as you can see, the programs are converted to internal variable 254 if it finds one. If they're too small, like two sectors or three sectors, it won't work. So any file that's larger than three sectors, it'll do it to. Now you have to you have to go through the files and add to a file a RAM statement at the top of it, just to add a few bytes to make it over three sectors. Now it will work on three sectors, but it's a little iffy on whether it'll work. Uh, it'll crash the program or not. I would prefer that you go ahead and go with two sector files. You can do it as low as one sector files. I've gotten away with it, but it's it did not take chances. Just stick with three sectors. It's much easier. So anyways, that's done. So call cat. This is uh, RxB2001, by the way, like I said. And there's our conversion programs. It takes them and it turns them into internal variable 254. This is that program I already demoed, AMS size. Just to show you that it, no big deal. Oh, 770. Oh, 770. Oh, oh, oh. This is a 2012 version. <laughs> Won't work. Uh, the transform, let's see now, old disk 4. This proves my point. Call cat. Now, this is the file we ran, which is the program file. This is the file we converted. It's not going to crash. 
because this one's actually written for this version of Extend RxB. Uh, the other one wasn't. That's why it crashed. It was for 2012. So anyways, that's the whole package. I just wanted to show you how to do that. And that you can use user from 2001. So that's the end of this demo. We'll talk to you guys later.